Hey, thanks for being here. So I want to tell you the story of DoD Reads and how I nearly failed my Explosive Ordnance Disposal Command Board. And the result of that is a website for you, dedicated to reading for you. So I graduated 15, sorry, 20 years ago from the Naval Academy. I was an ocean engineering major. I was one of those guys that graduated and just hung on by the skin of my teeth. Barely made it, barely graduated, barely passed differential equations. And I tell you what, at the end of those four years, I just felt like I got education and reading and all that just jammed down my throat and I was done. I was done with reading, I was done with knowledge, I was done with education. I just wanted to go off and lead, dive, shoot, jump out of planes, go blow some stuff up like any good explosive ordnance disposal officer would. So I did that. So I did that for about 15 years. Knocked out of the park, loved my job, it was great. And about your 15 year point, completed an operations officer tour, completed your platoon tours, life's good, completed your XO tour, and they're ready to select you for command. And in order to do that, they haul you off in front of a board. It's a board of uh, 06s, senior explosive ordnance disposal officers. They haul you off in front of this board, ask you a bunch of questions, and they take a look at you. And they want to make sure that you're the man or woman that can successfully lead an explosive ordnance disposal command and lead our nation's finest. The ver very first question that I got was from a guy named Vince Martinez. This is not the type of guy that you want to go to for a hug. The question he asked was, so John, what are you reading? And I tell you what, I did not have a good answer. I did not have a good answer. And Yahoo News and some naval instructions and Men's Health Magazine and some book summaries just didn't cut it. And those guys, that board, they saw through my crap and they saw through me and they're like this guy is not a reader this guy is not a lifelong learner this guy his education ended when he graduated from college and oh that that one week naval leadership course yeah that didn't cut it they saw through me and I never forget what uh, Captain Vince Martinez said he said all right John if you're going to lead our nation's finest men and women into battle, you have got to be a lifelong learner. Your education cannot end after you graduate from college or that naval leadership course or that leadership PowerPoint that they jam down your throat or that leadership instruction. It doesn't end there. You have, to be a, you have to be a lifelong learner. And the way that adults learn is by reading. So pick up a book, find something that interests you, pick up a book and start reading. It could be biography, it could be history, it could be a novel, but you need to continue to, you need to start reading. So I got pretty beat up, left with my tail between my legs. Got rightfully so, I got beat up. A couple weeks later, I had a road trip from uh, Washington, D.C. to San Diego to take an XO job. So I said, okay, well, this old man, Vince, so let, let's, see what, uh, let's see what he's got. So I downloaded a bunch of books. I downloaded Animal Farm. I downloaded uh, Fahrenheit 451. I downloaded some self-help books. And wow, who knew? There was all this knowledge in books. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what I had been missing. And so for after that experience that you know what there's probably another john laney probably another ensign laney or lieutenant jg laney or major laney that's out there and if i can develop a website if i can develop some work i can hopefully help that guy get to the point where he is going to be a lifelong learner far before my mistake at my 15 year point so leave me a comment let me know let me know what you're reading. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to dialogue. Look through my website and uh, let me know if you've got any suggestions. All right, take care. Bye.